Imprint3 Presentation Export is a way of creating symbolized PowerPoint or Google Slide presentations within Imprint3. With over 50 pre-made presentations, there are lots of examples to meet learning objectives. You can choose to export an existing example and use it as it is, or amend an existing example, or use a template to create your own, or start from scratch with a blank slide. Looking at how you can use an existing example, I'm going to open these sea creatures and then export it to see what it actually looks like in presentation mode. So here it is in PowerPoint. So we can just play that to get an idea of how it actually works. So we're looking for initial letters. Is it A? Ah, no. Try again. Is it O? Oh, yes, that's correct. Move on to the next question. And so on throughout that presentation. So you could just use that particular example. Or you could go and amend that example so that it meets the needs of your learning objective. Very easy to replace the topic with the one that you want to use. Replace that first animal, sea creature with a lion. Replace the text and then the uh, letters that you are giving as the initial ones. Keeping the correct one in the same position means that we don't need to change any of those links. And so on throughout amending that existing example. Or you could go to the templates folder and use one of the existing templates and then populate what you need to put in. So a story mountain, for example. This one has some already um, essential slides at the beginning so that you have your introduction, your build up problem, etc., building up to the end of the story. But then the blank slides to fill in as you work through with the class on the actual uh, content of the story. So that's using a pre-existing template. Alternatively, you could start from scratch using the blank slides. So a blank slide from the presentation tool uh, ribbon, I can add more slides, a few more. I can add cells. and text and symbols. Once I've got a cell, I can then add a link to other slides. So we can move this one on to <clears throat> the next slide, the last slide, a specific number slide. If I click on that link, I can then follow it to see where I end up in my presentation. Obviously, at the moment, I don't have anything else on slide three, but you can see where I go. Using all the other Imprint 3 features, you can change the background colour, you can format in any way that you want, and you can also use some new widget media features in the presentation folder, so specific backgrounds, you can put in a different background. And buttons for linking. And then adding our link to those particular ones. Add the link. So that one's going to go to, let's say that one goes back to the last slide. And OK.